Hello everybody and welcome to another Just Flix review. Today we are going to be doing a Netflix Just Flix review on that movie that you always pass up, which is Alley Cats. Have you ever heard of it? No. Did I before I watched it? No. Okay, so basically I was sifting through Netflix trying to find a movie that I wanted to watch and I couldn't really. There's a couple of movies I'm like, oh yeah, I need to watch that, I need to watch that. Just didn't have the energy to do it. And you know when you watch a crappy movie and it says, because you watch this, watch these, and you find other crappy movies, that's what happened. Max and Ride came up on my, uh, my watch list thing and this was under the scroll for it. And the reason why I clicked on it was because I saw Alley Cats and it reminded me of one of my favorite Disney Channel uh, original movies which was Alley Cats Strike. Very underrated. I put it in my top five along with Brink and some others. And so I watched it basically just because the name said Alley Cats and I was interested and there was a whole, like the picture was a group of kids and I was like, yeah, okay, I'll watch that. So I did. Did I like this movie? No. But some people might like this movie. Um, I don't think it was my my taste in a movie. I don't think. Here's the deal. Okay, this is a movie where basically in the opening couple of minutes, this bike courier is going around, and then he stumbles upon a dead girl with a. Uh, this is set in London, and so one of the politicians, like the MP or something like that, um, is standing over this dead girl, and he decides to book it and run and. <laughs> And so he gets away, kind of, um, and decides not to, um, should I say it? Yeah, I'm, gonna just, I'm just gonna say it. He decides not to go to the police. He actually, um, him and one of his bike courier friends uh, do s decide to blackmail for money. So that's kind of the premise. Um, anyway, his sister comes back and she's actually the main protagonist in this whole thing. She's the one that's trying to figure out what's going on. Um, and this movie is like, I almost turned it off on the first 10 minutes because I didn't like, I didn't like the way it was shot. I didn't really, um, I, the whole, they tried to stick with that sort of like, um, bike courier, like, young kids who just like to go out partying and do that job and kind of they all live together. It, it didn't feel very authentic to me. Um, it might be authentic, uh, but it just didn't feel that way to me. It felt very forced. It felt like they were trying to be edgy. But I kept on watching and then about 15 minutes into it, there is a shocking moment. Um, that I was like, oh, okay, well maybe this will turn out better than expected. Uh, and I kept watching and it ended up being this weird mystery, I wouldn't say thriller, but it ended up being like this weird mystery movie. But it didn't really feel like all of the threads matched up character-wise. I mean, all of the, like, the mystery, like I could see how it unfolded, but it just seemed like there was this group of bike couriers that they didn't really seem to matter to anything. Only like three of them mattered, but they took the time to kind of introduce the other ones and like try to give them distinct personalities. And you thought that they would be like in with her and trying to figure this out, but they just were there, um, which I felt weird. And it can be done right, but I just don't think it was done right in this movie. Um, and there was a solid 20 minutes where I'm like, okay, I'm actually really enjoying this. Like, this is kind of interesting. Um, and then the ending happened, and I was like, okay. <laughs> that's basically what I, I was just like, okay, that's interesting. I like how they, they took risk in this movie. And I do like a movie that will take a risk. Um, it just has to be done correctly. And I think the main thing, the main problem with that movie for me was that it, the way it was shot bugged me. And it, it's the like moving camera type thing, um, which can work. I just, it kind of distracts me a lot of the times. Um, so that's my personal, like if you like that kind of stuff, you like that feel in a movie, you might actually really enjoy this because it really, it took me out of the movie. But the other thing was the whole um, lifestyle of the bike couriers that I just they really tried to make you care about it and they tried to make them seem like they were the good guys but then they would do like these weird bike races 
that just like really would have screwed up like traffic and like really annoyed people and I'm just imagining if I was on a car and a whole bunch of like bikers like kid bikers were like roaming around like doing this stupid race and I got stuck in traffic because of it I would be pissed so I didn't care I was like I kind of hope that they just like keep getting hit by cars in a way I it was just so annoying to me because I know that would be annoying to me in real life um, so I didn't care about that whole lifestyle that they were doing, um, which made me not necessarily, it made me not really care for the characters, which I think in any movie, if you, sorry, my dog is doing something crazy. It made me not care about the characters, and that is one, that is my number one when it comes to a film, is I have to give a shit about the characters. Um, and I really only liked two people in this movie, um, and that's just not enough when you have something that's sort of... I wouldn't say it's an ensemble cast, but there's a lot of people in the cast that you're supposed to like and care about. Um, but it doesn't do that for me. At all. So basically those two things really just messed up the whole movie, even though there were points in that movie where I was like, okay, they've got something here, it's just not fleshed out enough for me. So the question is, would I recommend this movie to you? And I'm still not sure. I'm still like making up my mind because when I first ended the movie, okay, when I first started the movie, I didn't like it. When I ended the movie, I was like, okay, that actually was pretty good. And now that I'm thinking about it, I'm like, no, there's still a lot of things that bugged me about it. So I really don't know if I would recommend this Alley Cats movie to you. Okay, if I were rating this on like a 10 star rating, I would give it a 4.75 is what I would give it, give it. And that might be higher for some people, but like I said, the main thing was just the way it was shot really bugs me. Um, so if you like that, you might like this movie. Um, I'm still not sure if I would actually recommend it to anybody. It kind of just depends on your personality or if, if you're super bored, sure, watch it. Why not? If you like watching those like kind of terrible movies, then go for it. I kind of like watching them, so I do. Anyway, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe. I put out videos Monday through Friday, or I try to, at least. Um, and uh, you will see me tomorrow, definitely. So, also, if you have any suggestions for me to watch anything on uh, Netflix that I can view as a JustFlix review, comment below. Yeah, okay, bye.